Greetings, my name is Bukhosi Brands and you are watching Prime Sports with BK. And today we will be covering a lot, more than last episode. And if you watched last episode, you, you can tell it was a lot. Today we'll be covering football. We'll be covering tennis, mixed with rugby. You might be wondering how will I mix that? Stay tuned and you'll find out. And then we'll be covering awards, we'll be covering football stories. Football stories as in, not football, but sports stories in general. Starting off, we have Arsenal. They face a very, very, very big injury problem. Four players are injured and cannot play in today's game that is happening in a few hours. Um, the players that are injured are Thomas Partey, Gabriel Jesus, Smith Rowe and Jurin Timber. Now moving on, we have Manchester City's injuries. They have another big injury, but it's one player. Manchester City, Kevin De Bruyne, Captain Ning, Captain Ning, Manchester City, is now injured and cannot play until December. It's going to be tough without him. This whole month, there's going to be a lot of tough games. They face Chelsea next week, and today they will be playing. Um, today they're playing Fulham. So. I'll, I'll see how the game goes. Um, he will not be able to play due to a hamstring injury. And yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Now, Chelsea. Everybody was upset with me because I was talking a lot of dirt on Chelsea. But to be honest, I'm, be I'm being honest. Chelsea are not doing well for themselves. They are 11th in the Premier League fighting for relegation. And now one of their best players, Christopher Nkunku, cannot play until the end of November. It's going to be tough without him because, in my opinion, he's the best player in Chelsea currently. And it's going to be very difficult without him. Now we have, now we have the games. Barcelona will face Real Sociedad today in a couple of hours. I'll be watching it on a TV, obviously. I don't, I don't have tickets to fly to Spain and make the in time. It's just too difficult. I'll watch the game on my TV. And the way I think the game is going to go, I think it will be 2-1 to Barcelona. Moving on, we have another Arsenal um, story. Arsenal will play Newcastle. Two, of, two, two part of the big six from last season. If you watched football last season, Premier League, you'd know that it was Manchester City, Arsenal, Newcastle, Manchester United, Liverpool, and Brighton in the big six. And Newcastle and Arsenal will be playing each other today in a couple of hours, and I'll be watching it on my TV again. And yeah, let's continue. On the 11th of November, 2023, everybody in South Africa knows this. Unless you're like my sister, who just is boring. Um, and does not watch football, does not watch rugby, does not watch tennis, does not watch nothing. Um, then you would not know what this is. It's the Soweto Derby that is happening on the 11th of November. Um, yeah, it's going to be very entertaining. Me as a Chiefs fan, I hope they win. I do think they're going to win, if I'm being realistic. It will be 2-1 to Chiefs, in my opinion. And yeah, moving on, we have our final three segments. It is rugby and tennis mixed into one, compressed. It's, let's begin, Novak Djokovic, the winner of the US Open for tennis and one of the greatest tennis players of all time, watched the Rugby World Cup and stated that he did not support any team, but after the game, bought a Springbok shirt. And at the same, in the same week, he announced the he announced the women's Berlin Tour in France, in one country, 
inviting me. Doing all of that. Imagine doing all of that. You have to be as famous as no as um Djokovic. Now we have Roger Federer, who the mother was born here in South Africa, and he is a Springboks fan. He will be going on tour with the Springboks to Cape Town, then to Eastern Cape, then to Kimberley, and all of that. Now the Ballon d'Or. Everybody who's a football fan, unless you're like my sister again, a boring and upsetting girl who does not watch any sports, um, then you would not know what this is. The Ballon d'Or is the award that is given to the best footballer of the year. There is five trophies that were handed out. Was it? it there were five trophies that was handed out on Monday, and let's go. Let's jump right into it. The Socrates Award, given to the best Brazilian player of the year, was given to Vinicius Junior, one of the greatest young talents in the world. He had a chance to win. Three trophies, the Ballon, the men's Ballon d'Or, the Copa Trophy and the Socrates Award, but only won the Socrates. Now the Copa Trophy, the player that won it instead of G instead of Vinicius Jr., it was G. Bellingham. Now like I said, my sister is very boring. She thought that Bellingham was a country, um, but let's not mind that. Um, the Copa Trophy is an award that was given to the best player under the age of 22. Um, it was, it's handed, it, in my opinion, um, a player named Gerard Musiala, 20 years old, was robbed of this award as he had a phenomenal season. He had 23 assists and 17 goals. Yes, you heard me, 23 assists but sadly did not win the award. Moving on, we have the Yashin Trophy, given to the best goalkeeper of the season. It was handed to Emi Martinez, and if you watched, if you watched any of his highlights, you'd understand why he received this award. He is the best goalkeeper at the World Cup, and he has a bright future ahead of him. He's only 28 years old and still has a chance to win more and more and more and more and more Yashin trophies. Now, the women's Ballon d'Or, that was announced by um, Novak Djokovic, was given, it was given to Antina Bom, Bon... Yo, our, it's a very difficult name. It's a very difficult name to pronounce. I think, I believe it's Antana Ponmati. And yeah, she's a very phenomenal footballer. She's very good. And yeah, she's, she's a very great footballer. I feel she's going to win at least two more women's Ballon d'Ors. Now the men's Ballon d'Or, the moment you've all been waiting for, it was handed to... I don't even need to make a drum roll. He's the best football player in the world. Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi is the greatest footballer of all time. He's won eight Ballon d'Ors. He's, he's phenomenal. He's, what more can I say? He's not human. He's, 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 mo he's most definitely not human. He's, he's not human. He's, he's great. He's ex he's come on the ball, his dribbles, his free kicks, his power, which most of you say is, is, is a fake. Um, yeah, he's, he's the greatest footballer of all time. Um, quick question. Do you feel Messi was... Do you feel that Messi paid uh, for another Ballon d'Or? I truly disagree because Haaland has not done anything with the national team. And... The national team might not even qualify for the Euros in 2024. Now, um, if you say that Haaland deserved the Ballon d'Or or Mbappe deserved the Ballon d'Or more, you need to go see a doctor because how oh, uh, how oh, uh, how oh, uh. Messi's just the goat. Messi's Messi's phenomenal. He can the amount of goals he scored 42 goals. 
for a player who's been playing for a team that doesn't even appreciate him. And then single-handedly helped Argentina to win the Ballon d'Or. Um, yo, oh, sorry, to win the World Cup. That's just that's just crazy. Now we have cricket is a very cool sport. Most of my friends at school they enjoy cricket. And there was games that happened last week and games that were playing that are playing tomorrow and on Monday. The game that is playing tomorrow, it's India versus South Africa. My country, I hope, is going to win. It's playing at at ten in the morning, half past ten in the morning, and in South Africa time. And yeah, I am going to be watching the game, and I hope it's going to be a very savory game, salty, enjoyable game. Now for the final very sad story for me as a Liverpool fan. It's a very sad story. Um, Luis Diaz, um, sadly his parents, apparently his parents got kidnapped. Um, the police have found his mom and they are on the search for his dad. Please send lo- all of your love to Luis Diaz. As a Liverpool fan, it will be tough not getting to watch him for the next couple of games. And I hope he's doing well. They will find your parents. No doubt, they'll find your parents. Lots of love. And that is the end of Transport with BK. Hope you enjoyed the show. Like, subscribe. Saturday again. Lots of love. Bye bye.